wokeism, the alphabet mafia, censorship to pander to the woke left west. I'm your cool uncle Marissa, and this is a series of phrases I hear all the time in gaming communities. Now, it's hard enough to be a woman in these communities where the great outrage and World War III against gamers is Lara Croft no longer hiding the two pyramids of Egypt under her blouse, uh, Tifa not having to go into urgent care for back surgery surgery after carrying the weight of the world on her chest and not being able to look up Ashley's skirt in the Resident Evil remake when we all know the great crime is that her cute Dumbo ears have been eliminated. But it's even harder to be queer in this kind of community because women are awful, but queer people? That's just... So just as a little pushback to all of this negativity and dark cloud of awfulness that makes up a lot of the community, I wanted to do a little video in celebration of Pride Month of some queer folks in the modding and specifically the retro Game Boy modding community. I'm sure I've missed a lot of people, but this is just people that I know personally, am aware of personally, oh, and or have reached out to me when I just threw up in my stories that I'm looking for folks to showcase. Now please, if you are a queer modder uh, or just a queer person who has a channel related to any of this stuff, feel free to promote yourself below. Uh, if you know someone else, feel free to promote them in the comments as well. Now let's get started. Number one is Next Stop Please. Next Stop Please is Kelly who has moved around probably just as much as I have. She is British born Chinese living in Canada and you probably know her if you do best for her Game Boy and Game Boy Advance cartridge labels, as well as her marbled Game Boy and Game Boy Advance carts. These are some really beautiful carts that she uses marbling techniques to make some really beautiful colors and you can just slap your PCB inside and have the prettiest copy of Pokemon Yellow in the world. Her labels are also really well designed. She's not just a graphic designer, but also an artist, not just an artist, but also a graphic designer. Now, someone who also designs things like um, covers or Game Boy labels myself, I can tell you that there is a lot of hard work that goes into it and having an artistic vision is more than just dropping some existing components inside a file. And you can really see that Kelly does that because everything is placed so well and there is definitely a lot of flow and fluidity in the artwork. So Kelly's labels are definitely in a league of their own and and very high quality. She also does vinyl decals for Game Boy Micro faceplates. And I'm not gonna lie, my quest to get a Game Boy Micro was largely fueled by her beautiful faceplate. She also does have original artwork. Recently, she's made these little game pals, which are super cute. Give her a follow, uh, check out her shop if you haven't already very talented person. So much of the modding community is focused on the technical aspects that we really need to cherish those who focus more on the artistry. Next up, we have Fresh Brew Customs. Fresh Brew Customs is a trans modder who makes a lot of really, really aesthetic builds. I love their choices in color schemes, and they also do take commissions, I believe, and they sell their builds online as well. So if you ever want to pre-built for any reason, head on over, check out their shop. Their feed is super inspiring when it comes to aesthetic. Also, they make custom lenses for Game Boys and Game Boy Advance, which say Game Girl or Game Envy. It's really neat. And I think that using a custom lens is just such a neat final touch. So grab one of those if you're interested. You know, everyone's always asking, where do I get a pre-built Game Boy with all the mods? There you go. Look no further. 
Speaking of aesthetic, we also have Pixel Fix, who is a queer Welsh modder, and her feed is very aesthetic, especially if you like watches. She seems to have as many watches as she does Game Boys and pairs them in a very attractive manner. I personally love watches, but I can never commit to wearing one, even though I keep my bracelet on like 24 seven. But yeah, their feed is super inspiring for photography in general of how to photograph your Game Boys and other stuff and also for um, the aesthetic of the builds some really nice color combos there as well. Last but not least we have Natalie the Nerd who needs no introduction I hope at this point. She is a amazing asset to the community. She is based in Australia and she is responsible for some really incredible mods. She has recently made the most accessible pocket color mod. She has made the ARC GBA, GBC boards which add RGB lights to your board. I recently did a video on her tactile mod for Game Boy Advance. She is the founder and person who runs the modded Game Boy Game Boy Club, which has very cool merch, as well as things like schematics, anything that you need to sort of troubleshoot or better understand the brains of your Game Boy. She's a very intelligent person and self-taught and very open to sharing that information with the community, which is amazing. She also currently, as of making this video, has made a pride arc board which shows the different colors of the different pride flags and profits from those sales will be donated so if you are looking to support a queer maker while also supporting an organization or cause i think that's a great place to start now like i said at the beginning this is by no means an exhaustive list oh my god can you imagine only four people five i guess including myself uh so please let me know anyone else in the comments uh, you know it's june it's pride month but you know we're not only queer for a month it's for the entire year but i think it's important to sort of put a spotlight on things this month if anything as a response to rainbow capitalism because you know you've got everyone changing their logos to rainbow selling really tacky rainbow themed stuff pulling them at the slightest uh threat when in fact you could be supporting small businesses artists makers who are doing things relevant to your interests all year long we all have stuff for sale. Many of us have Ko-Fi where you can buy someone a coffee, which just throw a couple of bucks their way. Other than that, there's just a lot of stuff out there worth investing in. I mean, tell me you don't want stickers from Kelly or a build or a lens from Fresh Brew Customs. Thank you for watching. As always, I've been your cool uncle Marissa and I hope you have a wonderful Pride Month. I hope that you are always encouraged to be yourself and that you lift everyone else around you up and never feel the need to push someone out of the way because you feel that that will make you the better person because it honestly will not. You are always welcome at Cool Uncle's house and I hope to see you in the next one.